The old accumulated forum knowledge section of Penny Arcade's forum seems to be gone, so the first place that I ever shared this trick seems to be gone, and I still see a lot of people having trouble with the hinges on a Game Boy Advance SP. Like if you're trying to reshell it or just take it apart to paint it or whatever, uh, you might need to get those hinges out without damage and uh, without stabbing yourself. <laughs> and uh, figured this trick out a very long time ago. I can still find references to it in 2007 where I linked to that thread that's no longer around that I made. <laughs> and, uh, so I figured I need to put it back out there again. I actually tried to do this back in 2017, but the video got corrupted and uh, audio was all out of sync through most of the video. So I just decided to go ahead and snip out the important part and put it into this video. Yeah. So it is supposed to be in the open position. All right, so this is my right hinge. That means that one's going to be really hard to access unless you could put it in there first. Oh yeah, I still might not have it short enough. All right, there we go. Now I can open it and stick something through that's much, much longer. See, this is probably too thick, it is. And that's not long enough paintbrush might be perfect not thin enough on the toe oh, yeah it works there it goes popped right out all right so a lot of people struggle with this but looks like something thin that will fit through here well there's actually a smaller gap over the ledge here but something thin thin that will fit through there and now that I've done it again it's been years and now that I've done it again I see that yes you def definitely want to take the right hinge out first if you don't have anything long and thin enough to stick all the way through, then these were like 30 for a dollar, I think, at Hobby Lobby. So, yeah, not going to break the bank on those. Once again, that was the Bic Round Stick without a K ink pen.